Ty. My name is Cyborg34 but you can call me Tom. If you were wondering Jeff did not pay me for this. I just wanted to make that clear. Okay so let's get started. So we have this little thing I would like to call a potato cannon. Jeff did make one but it wouldn't fire, so we had to take the actual shooting footage from the internet. Let's take a look at Jeff's attempts that failed. Gabriel, what are you doing? Ha <laughs> 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 ha, that was funny, but not really. Okay, so we have the equation, y equals negative 16x to the second power of 2 plus 20x plus 5. So we are going to set up the graph. Here I am now we want to put in the parabola. Okay, now that we have this, the x value is time and the y value is height. Now that we have the parabola, you should know that the time is measured in seconds and the height is in feet. The way that I set up this equation was that we know that the C value is the initial height, and that is about 5 feet. We also know that the B value is the velocity, and finally we know that the A value is the gravity, and that is negative 16. Are you still with me? Okay I hope so. Let's take a look at this man fire his potato cannon. Neat isn't it? Let's see that again. Wow that is beast. Let's see if we can shoot Justin Bieber. Wow that is great. 5 stars for him. We know the max height and it is 11 feet. Not bad. Not bad I say. Okay looking back at the parabola. We know that it is concave down because the A value is less than 0. We also know that it shifts to the right because the values of I and B have opposite signs. That's about it for this equation. We covered everything that needed to get covered. Take a look at the man shooting the potato one more time. Wow that is still cool. Okay I am done here. Miss Murdoch, please give Jeff and I or he will destroy me and my cyborg babies. Thank you. Tommy has left the building.